Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Goodness gracious, come in and get out of the cold. Come, come, and I do mean come. The ominous wind is vicious and the powder snow be thick with two seas. Take off your swanana down, terror jacket, and come. Sit squat-legged before by the fire. Mmm, yes. Do you feel that? That light crackle of talon flame, sweet kissing thine's frigid cry, God on nose passes. Warm yourself, youngling, your wrist feet upon the hearth. Wiggle your ankle fingies like wormadammy wormple worms with renewed vigor. Let the heat more of my loving embrace fill thine tiny lungs. Certainly, you are out and about for the mon of pokey, yes? In this storm of frosty frost last frostiness to catch thine digital monsters, both cute and fierce. But hark, don't you know? It is the crime of holiday cheer. Crime? I meant to type time, and now I'm reading it the same way. The delete button does not exist. It's time to steal the hearts and share farts of one another, those you love. Surely, you should be fist deep in cinnamon swirl delights and vanillite flavored sugar cookie heart disease frights, no? What's that you say? Jesse and James comes a parappa rapping at my ch 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 ch, -ch chamber door. For who does the murkrow call? Yonder my heart's displeasure is measured by pressure incremental. Like a wheezing man destitute and Phoebus Cubones falling apart. Shh. Do you hear that? The encroachment of Neubaut country. Mucks upon the floor, melting your toesies like some twisted holiday pudding from the damned. Hmm. What's that you say? No, I shan't say go betwixt thine rocket nor the team. Silly thing semantics. Silly thing semisir and bear ticks. Let them come. In their drift looms aloft with menacing looks. Throw a tyrantium for all I care. Mala mark my words, they shan't breach this safe space. For here we are ladies and waylords of our own domain. And they are but an obstacle on the path of progress and happy pipininess. Let them run lapras outside in the Obama snow for all I care. But you, you. You don't worry about a chingling. You are here in my busty abode, like a lopany of art so deviant, stunning rule, fans only, of a Gardevoir cultivated with trapinchings, both overheating and containing a nasty plot. Not to say I'm feeling you candies to get you on the good side, but goes without the confusion that you are with charm. Anyway, my dearling, pay those scrafty scoundrels with their skullduggers be no heed. They are but marsh shadows of fears, timeless echo, immemorum. What? What's with the mean look? Such a visage could give an old bandicoot paralysis. Listen, cutie fly, I mean you no harm. Quite the opposite. I offer you warm food, warm drink, and a warm ember, and yes, even a story. Come, sit. I am Polior, you. Let me just open this large leather-bound book, and you just might find it. Super effective. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of dust on this book. <laughs> I'm good at blowing. <clears throat> mm, sorry about the dust veneeries. Been some time since my last visitor, and now, without further delay, I present to you this story, which I very do assure is both unbelievable and yet... Dot, dot, dot. Quite true. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was but a boy. His lot in life struck him against a world so big and wild, given a Charmander so red and so cute, and endless possibilities could transpire. Off they go, where? No adult could know, deep in the grass so tall, into battle scorn and repeated forlorn, this 10 year old's heart turned cold and vile. Caterpie after Caterpie, wheedles for wheedle, his ambitions lay strewn at his feet, but ha ha, or oh, at last, a devilish scheme cast, one that surely would never be beat. He'd start an organization out of his frustration, tired of being a laughing stock. Team Darkness would arise and slumber draws nigh the nightmare of his evil plot. He found a partner so smart and so cool, one with a brother left hanging and a mom professor banging. Taken aback by her cruelty, he wondered if together they could plunder the world that left them angry. 
And yes, she did too. Bananas ensued, and their victims would cry, What the heckins? They developed nightmare balls and dark rye calls as they hunted their mythical obsessions. Praise the Dark Lord. Darkness for all, as Charmander burnt their foes to cinders. Cannibal Duck let our murderous friend joined before the end and left a trail of blood unending. They'd start a show together, call others to their cause, and woe to those who would gawk. And with that happy holidays, there is no ending yet, because that after Dark Rye, we give no fox. The end. Multiple question marks. <clears throat> now, young one, do you understand the meaning of this winter horror land? To be bereft of mother's love and sky attacks from stars above. Jesse, James, nay, you shall not find. Unless Xmas Day X marks a spot you desire. A simple 10-year-old trainer you may be, filled with possibilities and taking chances. But caution I must offer before you leap with no reason. Lo, behold, the true meaning of this season. Family and friends, that's where your journey should end. Call them up, video phone or letter, please mail them. Times are tough, don't you know? And a happy ending isn't in the spending. So put down the phone, close your apps and pay attention. Moments like these are fleeting. So I mentioned, enjoy and rejoice in this joyous view. But for the holidays for me, all I want is a five star rating and a goddamn fucking review. Happy holidays from us at After Dark Ride. You see, we'll see you next year as we do the thing. After you're holly and jolly and fat and happy, Dark Ride will deck your halls and you'll call him your pappy. What the fuck? <laughs> this isn't supermarket sweep. Hi, what Mom. What the fuck? Hi, Mom. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. The call was coming from inside the house the whole time. And Hannah was here the whole time and you didn't know. Bye. Bye.